So in this video, we're talking about the difference between eating at restaurants in the countryside or rural China versus in the cities. Now, the nice thing about these rural restaurants is that you can actually, wait, let me do that again. Now, there's a massive difference between eating in these two places because number one, if you go to the cities, you can actually find quite high end and expensive food. Is that you can actually go back into the kitchens and take a look. Hey, Swagger, we can look at the food. Can you see the food? Yes, 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 yes. Most of them will allow you. Now, for instance, we ate in a place yesterday and the kitchen was actually very nice. It was very well organized and it was much cleaner than what you usually see because you get to see some pretty nightmarish conditions in these kitchens out here in the rural countryside of uh, China. Number two, you're not seeing what's being cooked in the kitchens or being prepared. You basically open a menu, you choose what you want to eat, and you have variation from all over China. Anyway, thing is, you can go and take a look and decide for yourself if it's the place you want to eat in. There is a drawback to eating out here, and that is that, well, number one, you normally don't have menus, and if you do have menus, there'll be no pictures, and it will only be in Chinese. So you're kind of forced to learn some Chinese. So go into the kitchen and actually point at what you want. Now, if you come to one of these kind of places, like where we are now in the middle of uh, random Jiangxi province, I'm getting run over by e-bikes, you don't really have that much of a choice. You're going to eat their local food. What? This is the jelly de tersa, so they say. It's, um, I don't remember. Number two, all of the ingredients are going to come from the wet market nearby, which we just walked through, actually. And number three, you can actually go back to the kitchen and see everything being prepared. So it's quite a special experience, and it's also a really good way to get sick. Something has to be said about the freshness of the, the ingredients. We've just been through this wet market. You can see them killing the animals right here. And of course, all the fresh vegetables for sale. These are the vegetables and the meat that are being used to cook in these rural restaurants. However, just because they're fresh doesn't mean they're safe. You have to understand that a lot of Chinese soil is polluted and a lot of the vegetables being grown are actually tainted. So, you know, although it looks nice and fresh, you should also be cautious of this. And of course, the animals that are raised here are raised in filthy conditions and fed sort of all sorts of weird garbage and chemicals and stuff. So you have to be careful of that as well. But, you know, it's something you should try. Now, unfortunately, out here in the rural sticks, there is nobody watching. Yeah, nice, very nice, very nice, okay. There is nobody checking the hygiene and, you know, you don't have like a, an FDA or something that goes and checks the kitchens and gives them a score and says, yes, this is safe. Lovely, yes, you see, and you have people spitting and hocking everywhere. Let's just say it is dirty. In fact, to say that it's uh, filthy is not an understatement here in rural China. People don't wash their hands, they spit everywhere, there's animal blood and stuff on the streets here. It's basically just, it's not pleasant for people who are used to hygienic conditions, let's say that. And you can never guarantee that what you're eating is clean or doesn't have bacteria. And that's why a lot of the people I know who come here to China get food poisoning, especially if they go eat street food or go to these rural areas to eat food. You know, I myself have only ever had one problem with food poisoning and it was recently. And strangely enough, it wasn't from eating Chinese food, it was from eating bad Western food. So come to China, but be prepared. Have some kind of medicine with you that can help you treat diarrhea because there is no such thing as food hygiene in these rural areas. Now you come to these countryside places and we talk about food safety and you should probably bring medicine in case you have diarrhea or food poisoning, but you can also get these conditions and illnesses from city restaurants as well, even in first year cities. Now that is due to a very, very special Chinese characteristic and that, that is the concern for making money over safety. Now the chefs in some of these restaurants in the first year cities don't really care about food standard safety either. The food regulation system is usually bought, you buy your tag, you put it on the wall, you get a happy face and then people think your restaurant's clean. In fact, it's probably not. Now, it's not ill-intentioned here in the countryside. People actually are trying to, you know, show you a good experience and delicious food and things like that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, okay. Well, what's the make? What the in what? Yes. <laughs> 
，已经吃了，已经吃了，我们已经吃了，谢谢，谢谢。对，我也觉得，谢谢，谢谢你们，拜拜。It's just that they're used to that kind of food quality, whereas your Western body may not be. Anyway, I want to sum this up with the fact that I've had some of the best times in China in these kind of rural areas. The people are super nice. Sometimes you don't have to pay for meals because people will invite you to their house to eat. You get to try a bunch of really, really cool things, and you can actually see some of China retained. Um, you know that was kind of destroyed in some of the bigger cities. Yeah, you fun too, ma? No, huh? Yeah. Hey, 老板，你说。你是说我们是第一个外国人来你们这里吧？啊，没错没错。啊、哦，太好了太好了。你我想问一下，你们有什么菜？这这边。好。都是客家菜。好，我们我们去看一下。啊，客家菜我很喜欢。这这是是那个羊肉粉。对，哎，你你知道啊？对啊，我们有。哇，很厉害啊！是吧？那个羊肉粉。啊啊啊！那个那个苦瓜。啊，这是酿苦瓜，对。对对。呃，这个吗？酸菜。酸菜。酸菜。那个酸菜。你们吃辣吗？呃，对，能吃吧。呃，这个辣椒炒那个这个啊，不用了，这个可以。对，那个可以不用了。啊，你们有什么肉啊？肉吗？就是不会不会介意吧？好，可以可以。不介意吧？啊，好。可以。那个腊肠，腊肠是吧？对对，炒这个可以吗？对，好，耶，那可以，就那么多吧。这个荷兰豆的，非常好。Yeah, they got some really nice stuff, and what's really good is you can actually see it right here. 嗯。好，再来一张，朋友好。好 ，OK。这是什么？家里做的特产。特产。那个米浆做的。这是我们的客家特色。怎么做的？这个就是这个叫烫皮，用油去炸出来。烫皮。I don't know how to speak it. It's okay, no problem, no problem. We'll try it out. Like those prawn crackers, but with um infused with oil. It's not bad. Yeah. Oil crackers. The more you eat, the better it gets. It's super crispy. It's like prawn crackers. Yeah. Oh, true. We're gonna go see if we can uh, get inside the kitchen. Oh yeah, go get some macro shots. Let's do it. Hey, Swagger, we can see how the food is made. We have a picture. Oh, how clean. Yeah, it's clean. 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 It's It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. It's It's this is one of those situations where we were talking about food standard quality, right? Yeah. And you don't know in the cities, but you come back here and they let you see it and look at it. It's it's perfect. Yeah, I don't I don't feel bad about eating out of here. I mean, look, there are flies and stuff. And yeah, but that's food. that's life. Yeah. Honestly, my kitchen is dirtier than this. Yeah. I mean, so it's not a. It's just one of those things. My first time to speak in native English. Really? really that's nice. Good. I'm happy. I'm happy to, to be the first. It's very nice to meet you. If you guys are interested in seeing where we came, head over to here. I don't know if you guys will ever be this way, but if you are, come. Look, they keep the fish in the yeah. like cement area. The last fish. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, you're in the back. Wow. Yeah. Winston. Check this out. Those are the 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 young guy. This is really nice because you know this little restaurant over here. They have their garden right outside, and all the vegetables that they're cooking, as you can see, come from their own garden. I mean, once again, you don't know there's like a factory right there, like right next to it, so you don't know what's in the ground. But at the same time, it's lovely and fresh, and it's right here. So you know, there's a lot of charm to this. It's just always spoiled by that cement factory or whatever you call it. Right. Yeah. Brick kiln. Brick kiln. What do we got? Did you eat the G? How are you? Well, I'm hungry. Let's go eat. What do you say? Yeah, I think so. Let's go. We always planted the vegetable ourselves. Yeah, it's great. It's much better. So you you saw it. Yeah, we know. Exactly. 
So you see the, I guess that's the son of the boss and he's very proud to say that, you know, see we planted it ourselves so you can see and you can believe. And that just make, basically is what it's all about. There's so many tricksters and so many fraudsters and so, so much nonsense going on in China that they're proud to be able to show their guests, hey look, this is what you're going to eat. You know, you're going to get what you can see. So Winston, tell us about the uh, food that we managed to stumble across, just randomly actually. It's actually very nice. These are some pretty staple items that you can find in and around here, well, in and around China really. I know they say it's Kurjia food or whatever, but I've seen this everywhere in China. Um, we've got the bitter gourd with, it's kind of stuffed with pork and it's really quite delicious, but it's an acquired taste because the gourd is actually really bitter, you know, due to its name. <laughs> Something I really like is this kind of Chinese sausage which they slice up and fry. It's very fatty but it's very sweet as well. It's kind of really cool with these green beans and uh, peas, sorry, whatever they are. Uh, and it's absolutely delicious. And then of course we've got the good old young dolfu which is uh, tofu stuffed with meat as well. So we've got a really good selection of food here. I'm actually pretty happy with this, you know. This is all pretty foreigner friendly. There's no weird like I don't know, cow stomach, you know, intestinal bladders or anything like that. I saw that in the back. Yeah. I also did see some grubs, but yeah, but we're not we, eating We those. didn't order those. This is a treat, trust me. You know, I'm, the, I'm a bit of a food guy. As some people say, I'm a heavy eater. But anyway, when I go to these places, honestly, Winston doesn't have the same problem as I do. I get sick super easily, and I don't know what happened. At some point in my life, or my career in China, I lost my ability to eat uh, food basically outside. I just get diarrhea and food poisoning all the time. But when I go and see places like this, it's super, super clean and everything's kind of raisined uh, by themselves and everything, it's really, really good. And uh, the food here is absolutely excellent. Uh, as Winston was saying, this is the bitter gourd, but in, in America we call this bitter melon. And also, it's incredibly bitter, and I really do believe that it is an acquired taste, because when I first came here, I was shocked. It was like eating battery acid or something. I was like, why is this so bitter? But now I absolutely love it. It's really, really good. This tofu here? Honestly, I hate how Americans prepare tofu. Growing up, sometimes my mom would be like, tonight we're gonna eat healthy, so I bought a brick of tofu. She didn't put sausage in it and fry it up. Now this is how you wanna do it. It's not tasteless, it's not runny, it's super, super kind of pillowy in the inside, but on in the outside has a bite to it. And it's got a really, really delicious piece of uh, kind of salty pork sausage inside with a bunch of different spices as well. Awesome. I love this kind of sausage because they're really, really proud of it. They'll basically hang it up and let the air dry it, and that sounds really gross, and there's a bit of an off taste to it every time I have it, but it's kind of awesome. It kind of tastes really, really good. It's almost like how kimchi is also fermented. Really good stuff. Overall, heating in rural China is fantastic. Are we about to stay awesome? Yes, we're about to stay awesome. So, okay, let's do this. All right. We are dancing. <laughs> down, down, down. Go down. He wants to see it down. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Up. <laughs>